Sorry if this is a redundant question, but how do you build your confidence with singing? I just hate the way my voice sounds. Honestly, Roro, all you got to do is just keep singing. Just know that you're going to hate the way your voice sounds till you don't hate it. And I don't know how. There's no other way. It's just you got to go through. There's no, your voice is going to suck um, for a long time till it eventually starts to sound not sucky and then suck a little bit less than that and then it starts to kind of sound good. And usually I just like go off of other people's things. I'm pretty comfortable with people saying I'm shit. Like I have people who communicate with me now that are like, oh my God, your voice sounds amazing. Thank you so much. I love your singing. Uh, and then I literally got feedback from my last show, one of the last shows. So actually, ready? So the last show I played, I had one person come up to me and was like, that was the, like at this exact same show, right? They were like, that was one of the best performances I've seen. Thank you so much. I can't wait. I drove six hours to come and watch you play and it was so cool and then the exact same show i had someone being like this was a total waste of my money the guy sounded like he was a karaoke singer and it was horrible don't waste your money two people same show same performance so it's like what do you do with that information well the trick to singing is you got to be like okay what are the objective metrics that I can handle? And the objective metrics are, can you sing in time? Can you sing the right melody? And can you sing the lyrics? And and hopefully play in time. So if you can sing in time and play in time, you're good. Like that's listenable. And then after that, it's up to everyone else what they feel. Um, And obviously if if you go from there and you only worry about the inputs, then you don't stress about the outputs because other people will always have an opinion. Like I could do a fantastic performance. I thought it was a great performance. And then people were like, you're shit. And then other people were like, you're great. And you're like, well, that doesn't really help me. But you, if you control the inputs, if you're like, no, I 100% am certain that I nailed that rhythm and I really focused on that and that was my best version of X, then you're good. Then you just, what, you literally throw it out to the world and you're like, fuck it. And you walk away and you, you're like, it is what it is. Like, I can't do shit about it outside of that. So, and I'm obviously singing covers. So when I'm singing covers, some people have an expectation of when they hear a cover song, they're like, oh, I want X person to sing and have like a vibe of um, like, I want it to be exactly like the recording. And then other people are like, if I wanted the recording, I would just listen to the recording, not this random dude singing. I want to hear how he does it. So you just can never win when it comes to singing. So, but what you can control is the input. So control the inputs and be like, all right, do I get it in time? Did I get really close to the melody? If you can't get close to the melody, it is what it is. You can't fix tone. I mean, tone is like something that as you sing all the time, you will improve. But then outside of that, like you can't control that shit. Like you just keep practicing. My, the tone of my voice is the tone of my voice. If people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, they can just like throw me in the fire. There are a million other people that they can consume that are way better than what I do. Uh, well, they're not better at being me, but they're better at doing whatever they those people might want. So like that's the, my best advice as a singer is just do. Just do and focus on the inputs of doing and then the outputs of whatever people think, they can think what they think. And then it is what it is. See, D tap. That's 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 your opinion. Uh, and I got roasted because I didn't play the exact same way that John Mayer plays Neon. I'm like, it is what it is, bud. Uh, I will never learn it. <laughs> but what was the song I wanted to play? Can I cover BB BB? I don't know that one, Kiko. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I don't even know what that song is. Uh, but speaking of like singing, right? So, Aurora, are you still in the chat? Um, you always want to be challenging yourself. And so, seeing as we don't have any like specific requests coming in, I'm going to challenge myself. And this is a song that is a challenge, and I'm always I'm always improving on it, and eventually I will nail it. Like, but. Um, it just takes a lot of time. So it challenges my voice and pushes in very, very cool ways. And some people will hate it and some people will like it. 
And all I can control is give it my best shot. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You flow like a feather. Beautiful world. I wish I was special. So fucking special. But I'm a creep. And I'm a widow. What the hell am I doing here? That's fun. So that's that's what I mean, you know, inputs. I control the inputs, but I don't know if you like it. If you don't like it, it is what it is. I know that if I sing that another hundred times, I will get closer to it being very good. So that's pretty much all I can control. So I can control how many times I sing that. And I've probably sung that song, what, 20 times now maybe? 15, 20, something like that. So I've got another 80 to go before I can be like, uh, maybe I'm not good. So like... Give yourself a hundred tries. And if a hundred tries you still suck, be like, okay, maybe I suck. And then give yourself another thousand. <laughs> then you raise it. <laughs> so you, you do a hundred tries. And then if you're like, ah, oh, damn, I'm not there yet. Uh, then be like, okay, what does it work in a thousand iterations? <laughs> but, but when you're doing the practice, um, Roro, make sure you record yourself. Record yourself and then rewatch the video and then analyze what you're doing and be like, okay, where can I improve? Don't think like, oh, I don't like it. That, that's not helpful. Be like, record yourself, watch yourself play, and um, then be like, oh, I think I'm missing this rhythm or I'm missing this note. That's not that good. Then you'd be like, okay, next time I go to practice it, I'm going to focus on fixing that part. And you just fix one thing each day. If you fix one thing each day, it'll like compound into like you would just get really, really good. Um, over a year or two. Uh, like, like I have a coaching program that, and that's literally the whole thing. 
is I just get my students to record videos of themselves playing. And then we just, yeah, yeah, don't ask your friends. My wife is like the best because I will ask her and she will just like straight up tell me the truth. She's like, no, nah, that's not good. I'm like, fuck. But when I hear that, I'm not like, that's not good. Stop. Which is how most people think. When most people say like, it sounded like karaoke. Stop. You sound shit. Stop. Like, stop playing. Stop. Don't quit your day job. Stop. Like, that's how people hear it. They hear the bad thing and then they go, stop. Da da da. Stop. Da da da. Quit. When I hear it, I'm like, no, that's not good. Yet. Don't quit your day job. Yet. Uh, sounds like karaoke for now. You know, that's, that's how I, I see it. You know, just flip it because for everyone, it's hard. It's really, really hard. Um, like singing is hard and feedback is hard. And we live in a world where like, especially if you're posting your content online, um, pretty much nothing has changed with humans. It's what they think anyway. They just don't express it in person because they know like there's ramifications for being a dick in person. But online, they're like, oh no, I can be whoever I want to be. And so they will roast what they, like they'll say what they think. And it's, if as long as you can filter that information and be like, all right, I'm going to just get better you know, then you're good. Like, that's it. And that will 100%. The amount of people who told me, quit music, quit playing, don't quit your day job, when I was like, my literal job is to be a musician. <laughs> don't go to Berkeley. It's too hard. Don't do like this amount of times. And I know I, I'm saying this and harping on it, but it's so important that you just understand that none of it matters. Like, ever. Like, the only thing that matters is do you do the input? Do you practice every day? Do you sing every day? Do you evaluate what, you, evaluate what you're doing? Do you get 1% better every day? You do any of those things and you just control your inputs, you will 100% get good. I can't tell you how fast you'll get good because some things you'll pick up very quickly and some things you won't. Um, and that's fine. That's how it works. For me, singing took me about like eight or nine years to get comfortable with it. Like only, I've been singing for, since I was 19, I'm 32 now. Um, and I was really bad at learning during the first parts of it because I was so heavily reliant on my guitar playing. So it was really hard for me to pick things up um, or just have confidence. But in the past year, in one year compared, so I, I did like, it was basically like 10 years of prep work to then hit this one year of like, now it's like exploding with progress. And I'm like having the time of my life, just like challenging my voice. I'm super confident to suck and make mistakes. But it took me 10 years to get to that point where I was comfortable enough to really suck, to really push my voice. So that's kind of my two cents when it comes to singing. Hopefully that helps. <laughs>